Okay, um, so now we have our front, and then we just roll out a really long snake, okay? And um, you want to make sure that it's about as even as it can be. It's not a big deal if it's not. Um, you're not gonna, it's not gonna show a whole lot, but you want it semi-thin, um, and you want to make sure that it goes all the way around her body, okay? So, let's see here. Just to show you, we're gonna take it, and we're just gonna place it right where her bodice and her dress uh, meet, okay? And you might wanna do this before you actually do the little ruffle, uh, but it's not a big deal. And then you're gonna meet these in the back at the same place uh, where the back of her bodice meets, okay? And that way it makes it look a little bit neater. So we're just gonna take our handy dandy little tool and we're going to be careful not to cut all the way through to the ruffle okay and then we're going to take the other piece and again we're just going to Cut that off as well. And then we're going to join them in the back. And then also what you're going to do is just so it doesn't look like so much of a seam, you're just going to push that into the bodice. Oops, and be careful not to mess up your ruffle. Okay, all the way around. Just kind of push it into that area. And then that way, her dress looks a bit more natural. And then we'll go back and um, we will fix those ruffles. But so far, there we are. I think we're going to go ahead and um, work on her arms next. And we'll be back. Okay, so now all we've done is I went ahead and added one of her arms. I'm going to show you how to add the other one. Um, I've just indented a hole into the side of her body. And um, I rolled out her arm into a snake. And you're going to make sure that both of the arms are the same size and width. We're going to take her bottom of her little hand. And she's just kind of got one little cut, okay? To make her little fingers. And we're just going to kind of round those off okay and then we're going to take the other portion the top part of her arm and we're going to kind of form a little point so that we can put that into the little hole where we have her her little shoulder area okay and again you're just going to kind of want to make sure that those are the same size if they're not just cut off a little piece and then rework it okay and that looks about right to me so I'm going to take just a little bit of water, just a very little, 
and we're going to place it right inside there and then we're just going to take a little bit more and just put it right on that little area that we created to go inside that hole. And then you can um, place a little bit of water also on the arm just to keep it where we want it. We're going to leave this one free right now because we're going to uh, place a number three in her hand. Uh, Bella, the little girl that this cake is for, is turning three. And so there we go. So far, there we are. Uh, we will, like I said, we will shape her arms a little differently uh, once we get that three, but we want to go ahead and get her body finished. And I would say that is about good. Um, and next we are going to work on her head. So we will be back. All right, guys. Now, in order to do Olivia's head, you just roll it into a ball. Um, and if you've watched my uh, pig video or my sheep video, you're going to see that you're just going to roll it um, out kind of up at the front. And her, her little nose forms somewhat of a triangle, and it comes up. So it comes out, and it comes up. All right? Just like that. So now we are going to set this right here just so that we can um, have it for size comparison. And we are going to add and do her little ears. So just form the little triangle and then you can kind of round it off more toward uh, the front of her face. Okay, like that. So now we're just going to make her little ears. And there's one, um, but I'm going to show you how I did that. I just took a piece of fondant, um, the light colored fondant. I rolled it into a ball. And then what I did was I just pressed it out in somewhat of a triangle shape. Okay. And I'm just fixing a few of those cracks. You want it somewhat thin because we're going to want to uh, roll the edges of her ears like we did there. Okay. So you're just going to form that. And then once we have that, we're just going to take our darker pink color, also form that into somewhat of a triangle, and we're just going to place it in the center, just like that. Okay, I'm going to push those edges down a bit. And then all I did was just rolled up that lighter pink edge to the center. And then I just formed a point like that. And you want these roughly the same size. We are going to cut part of this away. Um, these are a little big. She does kind of have somewhat big ears though, and they're sort of thin. So just keep that in mind um, while, as you're shaping these. Okay, now we'll attach them.